hello guys and welcome to the channel so today we'll be doing a review or recap of see you my king chapter 45 so let's get started with the video so this is how the chapter starts ring re reconfirming our ultimate goal for this mission is To openly kill Suit and dismantle the God sect Yashu Alliance as God envoys and prevent war. At this stage, the primary objective is to gain their trust through the God sect trials. As he's saying this as he's eating, you can see. So next someone else is speaking, his brother. Brother Zhao Wei, come and listen to what they're saying downstairs. So it's confused, like, huh? What an expression. So, we hear people speaking. It's not a rumor. I'm certain it's true. The tyrant. And that red head inspector are having an affair. It's said that the red head inspector has a seductive, charming, fair skinned, and beautiful appearance like a fox. Just think about it a foreigner could only have climbed to such a high position, listing special means, using special means. So as he's speaking, someone slaps him. Pow! <laughs> so, this is the current situation in Phyllis. Shut up. We're compensating. As God envoys, in quotes, we have a long way to go to spread the image of Mimi being legitimate. So, after the guy slapped him, people, the people with whom he was speaking with, you can see are shocked <laughs> and confused at the same time. No, even if the tyrant and the past king had a relationship, that's in the past. Continue, continue. <laughs> so, I guess they're avoiding to get slapped like their friend. So, they're acting like they're in support. What do you mean, continue, in the past? The tyrant is now openly flirting with his fair-skinned and beautiful little god, Envoy. The surprised as you can see the, 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 the expression on their faces so this is what they see oh this is just the front page see my king there's a peculiar beauty in witnessing the drama unfold right before our eyes but in a sense, it's true. The current flirting is a sympathetic one. So you see his open mouth in shock. Open mouth in shock. Hey, hey, hey. I know something. Even more sensational. The rumor is that the tyrant has loved cross-dressing since he was a child and still dresses like a woman. When he's messing around with that god envoy. <laughs> that's the one with the O. So that's still gossiping, people are still gossiping. Ha 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 ha. It's getting spicy, right? Outrageous. Too outrageous. As he coughs and coughs. It's a rumor. Enough with my fists. Don't get excited. 
it's normal to hear things like this here. You can see the guy is clearly mad, but like the guy, the white haired guy is trying to hold him back. Let go of me. I'm not talking nonsense. Look, here's the evidence. This puppet was specially made by a craftsman who saw them both in Mengja city and carved their features. They were indeed like that. So his anger intensifies again. But he's trying to hold him back. You can clearly see his anger. As he falls to the ground because he's so mad. Sell me the king's puppet. Where are the craftsmen who make these dolls? I have to deal with them. You're still buying stuff while people are dying. <laughs> Alright, so later on, a few moments pass by. Let's go under the cover of night we will destroy all these things and cut off the source no we're going there to do business he's like what just doesn't understand why but now I can't go anywhere without being recognized openly I'm sure the commotion we crash we cause downstairs will reach the god sect's ears soon. As he is by the window, he's saying this by the window and throwing something, he's playing with something. If you want to go, let's see how we disguise himself and go instead. It's like, are you serious? Going to do business? Rumors can be suppressed. Craftsmen are just tools used by the puppets, masters, behind the scenes to spread them. Even if you deal with the puppet masters, the rumors have already spread far and wide. The best way to deal with rumors is to... Well, so it gives him an idea. To create dolls in the same series as the Tyrant's puppets, as it shows him uh, the puppets which they should create or something like that. It's just an idea. So he goes to Craftsman. This shows a Craftsman. Craftsman will make these dolls. Whose puppets are they? They look so much like people from the God sect, and even King Sute. King suit. You've got it wrong. Dark skinned, bald people are everywhere. It's just a character in a story. You're reading too much into it. So later, other a bunch of these puppets and secretly sell them in Phyllis. Yes, so people are speaking up or are going to be shown no one speaking. Okay, so he's still explaining what he's supposed to do. And when people ask about the identity of these puppets, we'll tell them a more scandalous story about multiple love affairs and family ethics among the nobles. The puppet, representing the king's image, will play a positive role in rising from adversity and confronting challenges. It's like, why do this? So he continues explaining. To eliminate rumors, we use even more intriguing rumors to overshadow them. Before long, the old rumors will be forgotten. People don't care about the truth. They just enjoy gossip. This is called shifting the focus that's a good point it's true you know 
if you have a rumor you could overshadow it with another rumor so it's true and if it works well people will naturally confuse the two kings and change the tyrant's image in their minds so the guy is thinking to himself like so what kind of story did you make up he says no no i can't curiosity stay down stay down he cares so much about the king he'd be delighted if he knew and it's like it's nothing serving the king is my honor and he kisses the the king's uh, puppet or image or something like that door and he's shocked <laughs> this puppet throw it away this is what I paid for good workmanship worthy of collection it's full of foul language bother you about what the intimacy between me and between the king and me don't listen to those people's nonsense the king sees you as a comrade someone he can trust with his back it's not that I have that dirty thoughts about you well clearly you do have dirty thoughts about him but okay do you think it's inappropriate So he's thinking, what? What kind of question is that? Although it's disgusting to hear those words and see those expressions, the phrase intimate relationship itself is not bad. Intimacy comes in many forms familiar, friendship, romantic. It's all about creating a close bond between people and the essence is the same but at the end of the day you you're repulsed by it so he's curious to know like if there could be something you know if there's like an opportunity so he looks at him and he looks at him back I don't need that kind of thing. I have brothers and comrades, and that's enough. So the light, the guy with the light hair touches his hand and is, and is quite surprised. Your hand is trembling. Today we fought side by side. So I guess I'm your comrade now. He touches his hand, he goes fully and touches his hand. Why do you tremble at the touch of your comrade? <laughs> yeah, nice, good question. Does this happen with others too? Why is that? Is it fear? As he looks at him, at smirks, or something else. So he immediately removes his hand. I'm only here to protect your safety. I can't be considered your comrade. So we are shown the back of his head. I don't know why. We're still showing the back of his head. But later he says also forgive me for being nosy you spent a lot of money on the first day you arrived are our funds sufficient when doing great things minor details can be ignored I'll just make up for the funds by grabbing some valuable things from the God sect 
How about that? How about that? This brat is good at diverting the conversation. When I was the king, why didn't I see you being so generous? You even sacrificed yourself to save me, but your comrade feelings haven't awakened yet. So he's mad. Because like the guy is talking of something else when he's he's talking of something else. However, the fact that you only react to intimate contact with me probably means I'm somewhat special to you, right? So he doesn't turn around, he's thinking of what to say. Forget it. Let him realize the existence of his feelings and think about it himself. So let's uh, reassuring smoke and stuff like that. Empty and desolate. No one is here. Ah, Lee. So, you're here too. I don't know if this is just an imagination or what. Okay. What are you doing? Why would you treat Xiao Wei and Titi like this? Mind your boundaries. this is where the chapter ends so guys hope you liked the little review i did of this bl manual called see you my king chapter 45 if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel it really encourages me and thank you so much for watching have an amazing day we'll see you soon bye